Okay, so this is the Pymote uh, control starter kit. You do get two of these sockets. And then this hat here that sits on top of the uh, GPIO ports on the Pi. Uh, it's pretty small. If you look underneath. So there's not a lot to it. Uh, what, one thing that you will have to do yourself is solder an aerial on, otherwise the range is really poor. And even with an aerial, um, you sometimes don't get a signal at the other end. Uh, so it's something to be aware of that you can't actually uh, uh, fire it like 300 metres along and still expect to get a signal at the other end, that kind of thing. Uh, it's just a short throw. Um, so these retail about £20. Uh, you can find them a bit cheaper. Uh, and then you hook up some scripts, you pair them up um, so that the, 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 the Pymote part can talk to the socket. Okay, so this is the Python script that we use to turn the uh, the socket on and off. It takes two parameters, on and off, and then which switch number. So in the system you can have four, and we've got two in this system that have been paired up. Um, so then you just call it. Um, we're going to turn the system off, because it's currently on. You can see the red light on it. So you can fire off the command. You can hear that. It's off. Fire the command to turn it on. There we go, dead simple. So with that, just that simple script, you can wrap it up in more complex scripts like a PHP script, which is in the blog, where it would uh, maybe search for the MAC addresses of certain devices on your network, uh, like the Chromecast being activated, and then that turns my subwoofer on and off. Or it can look for your mobile phone being on your local network and do something like turn the light on. Now the only problem with it is you can't guarantee that the messages reach the device. So in this case I am doing an on and off. And you can hear it doing it. But there's no guarantee that if you do that in the script that the unit will receive it. And there's no sort of callback to say that it's completed. Um, I tend to send the same command again and again to make sure that uh, if it's missed a command then it maybe gets it on the next time round. So maybe in a in the next minute. Um, so that's it.